And welcome back to Hannity as we are broadcasting tonight from our nation's capital. Now, it is the first official week of the Trump administration, and the president has already made some very significant moves. Joining us now in studio with reaction, Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Senator, good to see you again. How are you, sir? Good to be with you. Um, how do you feel about the agenda in the first few days so far? I, I could not be more encouraged. Uh, now, we're five days into it. Sure. But the cabinet appointments, they've been phenomenal. I mean, this is an all-star cabinet. I, I think this is the most conservative cabinet we've seen in decades. Do you like the list? We're going to hear next week a Supreme Court mm -hmm. appointment. Mm -hmm. Do you like the list of 21 people? Do you, I, I think it is a strong list. It's a serious list. Uh, I, I am hopeful and encouraged. What I hope we see is the president... I'll see him Thursday. Should I say put Ted Cruz's name in there? I, you know, I am very happy in the Senate. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think the Senate is going to be the battleground uh, for this fight. And, and, you know, what I've encouraged uh, the president and, and, and the administration to do is, is to go with someone with a proven track record. Uh, you know, historically, when we've gotten in trouble... This is Scalia's seat. We need an yes. originalist in that yes. seat. And, and we need, in the past, every time we've rolled the dice, every time someone says, trust me, but there's no paper trail... It wasn't good. It, it, it's been 100% of the time a train wreck. Let's assume for a second that Chuck Schumer follows through on his uh, threat, yeah. which is he's not going to support anybody right. on that list. Should they use the nuclear option? I think we, need, we should do whatever it takes to get him confirmed. And, and, and I'll say, let me actually do something I don't do a lot, which is praise Mitch McConnell. Mm. Uh, what Mitch has said to the Republican conference is, is he's encouraged all of us to go out and simply say, we will confirm President Trump's nominees. The Democrats will not succeed in filibustering those nominees. I think that's fabulous. I agree with him, and I look forward Listen, in the I, oh, Senate oh, to help him lead the fight. I've been critical of Mitch McConnell, too, yeah. and I think the fact that he held back... It was a big deal. Big deal. Big deal. Because it was a big issue in the campaign. Mitch McConnell and Chuck Grassley, they both stood strong, and, and they endured a lot of heat for it, and, and I... I enthusiastically praise them for leading on that issue. It really matters. You, you, I don't think you and I disagree on many issues. So let's, let's look at it through the prism of Donald Trump's ag agenda. Repatriation, 10, at a 10% 10 rate. Yeah. Corporate tax rate yeah. to 15%. Vetting refugees. Mm -hmm. Originalists on the mm -hmm. court. Yeah. Uh, energy independence, right? Repeal or replace Obamacare. Absolutely. And another issue, school choice. Do yeah. you think all these things can get done? Is there anything that he's, he's proposing, maybe trade that you disagree with? Anything? I, listen, I'm very encouraged. I mean, the, the platform that, that Donald Trump ran on in the general election was a conservative platform. On yeah. issue after issue, it was issues that you believe and I believe. But you had doubts. I mean, we know I, that. I mean, sure. Yes. Yeah. But, but, you know, I, I'll tell you, the, the week after the election, as you know, I flew up to New York, went to Trump did. Tower, sat down with him. That was and, important. And, and, you know, I spent five and a half hours there. I mean, I spent most of the day mm -hmm. with the president, with his team. And, and, and the message I conveyed to them was, was, listen, this is an historic opportunity. It doesn't happen often. And I want to do everything humanly possible to help lead the fight mm -hmm. for us actually to do what Wouldn't we Wouldn't it be great if these things got done for once? I, we, we've would been be talking about it forever. for too long. And, and the danger... I mean, we're, we have the opportunity for this to be the most productive Congress in decades, but we could screw it up. Congress could screw it up. The administration could screw it up. And the way we do that is we don't do what we said. And, and so Ameri my message I agree. is just, Follow, just keep your promises. Keep your promises. Um, you're pushing school choice in particular. Yeah, if we yeah. send education back to the states, let them decide? I, absolutely. And, and school choice, this is school choice week. I, I think school choice is the civil rights issue of the 21st century. You know, President Trump nominating Betsy DeVos as education secretary. I mean, that was a bold pick. She's been a national leader on school choice. This week in Texas, the Texas legislature's taken up school choice. The governor, Greg Abbott, the lieutenant governor, Dan Patrick, are leading boldly well, on both this. Both are great guys, by the way. I, I, Texas I know has the best politicians, you know. It's, I guess it's no accident that if you took away the Texas job growth during Governor yeah. Perry's tenure, we would have been a negative jobs created in America. Well, so. Texas is a great example yeah. of you get government off the backs of small businesses. You mm -hmm. see incredible jobs. And we need to deliver on repealing Obamacare. That's front and center. This year... President Trump is to poised to have massive victories. If we repeal Obamacare, if we confirm a strong conservative Supreme Court justice, if we pass tax reform, dramatically simplifying the tax code, and if we pass the legislation that I've introduced with, with Lindsey Graham to cut off U.S. taxpayer funds to the United Nations, Love unless that. and until 
they reverse these anti-Israel resolutions, I agree those are you. massive okay. victories for the new administration. I'd like to add energy independence. Okay. I think that's key to the ab, economy. Ab, as a Texan, let me say hallelujah, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. Senator, great to have you back in studio. Good to Thank see you. Thank you, Sean. Thank you.